What is up everyone, Nordsaid here. We are in Dread Ring for a reason. As you saw in the thumbnail, we can make a lot of AD during these two time refining stones, just farming the Phantasma Fortress, which is my favorite and the fastest one to go. It says earn double refining stones, enchantments, root stone, enchanting stone, and gemstones rewards double throughout Narrow Winter. So that is active, and uh, you can actually prepare for this event. For example, we have here the Bounty Master. He will exchange Vanguard script for five of these Onyx fragments. So as you can see, we can get one Vanguard script for five Onyx fragments. So Onyx fragments drops from the Dread Ring area, from the mobs, etc. So that's about the Bounty Master, but if you look at the campaign Dread Ring itself, keep in mind that now is 1.50 p.m. my time. At 6 p.m. Uh, the actual enchanting stones, which are we after four, these rank fives, uh, will start dropping. So don't start and waste your keys until it's 6 p.m. I'm I am in Central European time. Regarding the schedule, you can always check here. Complete later of the day on Monday. Get Vanguard script Tuesday evocation. You're going to the different actual layer. This is Dresspire, and you can get Enchanting Stone rank 3, Enchanting Stone rank 4, and Enchanting Stone rank 5. Now, 4 and 3 are not really what we're after. We are after 2 times Enchanting Stone rank 5. And as you can see, throughout the week, Friday is also just a complete layer of the day to earn longer scripts. And Weekend Liberation, which we are, we are doing now, complete a layer of your choice to earn an Enchanting Stone that is moderate, greater, or superior. When we go to Dreadring Vendor, we, get, we, can get, we can see that we can get Bag of Time Treasures and Time Layer Key is cost 10 of these Vanguard scripts. Now, of course, you can use Genie's Gift and get this Bag of Time Treasures, which will provide you 50 Vanguard script, one time scroll, and one time cipher. So then we can basically go to Sergeant Knox and take the free ride. I'm going to show you how it works. So the Red Wizards, it doesn't matter. And we're we, we going to go to Phantasma Fortress. Uh, regardless, just a quick reminder, you can uh, in an hour make around 300,000 AD, I would say, if you're really lucky with the RNG, or, or less than that, 250 maybe, but with the current prices, because the current prices of enchanting stones, as I will show you, enchanting stone rank 5, as you can see, they're going only for 15k each. This guy posted it, and we got 5 here, you can see, the, usually it goes for 25,000 or 24,000. So let's go to the Phantasma Fort Fortress really quick and I will show you how fast I can do it and just keep doing it until I get my key. So out of all three layers, this one is the on the in the under ring, farthest one, but you can just park here and you just do the actual layer. So we can go inside and I can show you, I will show you how it works really, really quick. It's a really fast run. It is really cool. So now I'm gonna go enter the tape or tie, keep the cutscene, hold the escape button, giddy up here. Now they made certain changes, you cannot avoid these, this pack here, so I gotta fight them, which will not take long at all. There we go. And now we enter the Phantasma Fortress, as soon as you enter you can mount up and drive to the half of the bridge here. There we go. One pack of mobs, boom boom boom, and done. Make sure you have your boon, actually, heal stronghold boon on your movement, so you're a little faster. As you can see, and my, I, can, I can regenerate my stamina with it, with it. So let's go. We're gonna skip these mobs here, but we're gonna kill these guys here. There we go. We gotta preserve stamina and I will show you why really, really quick. So now my stamina is almost full and I can run and pass two mobs, one from behind, one from the left side. And here we are at Phantasma Fortress. There is no skipping of this cutscene, so it's a little a little hassle, but it's nothing like really bad or whatever. So basically we just kill him and the phylactery will show up. Here we go. There. If there's some mobs left, doesn't matter. Here are the, those onyx fragments that I was talking about. And when you open the chest, you will get back, back, as you can see here, Phantasma Fortress Treasure Trove. So you, if you look on the side, I didn't get any stones because we have to wait four, and, 4 hours and 4 minutes until 6 p.m. my time. So in 4 hours, you will be able to do it. You saw how fast this was and basically 
uh, I can show you on the map if you're a newer, newer player. Uh, here I am on this this side and here is the entrance so it's really far away but that doesn't really matter what matters is that you can farm the shit out of this because every time you open open the chest you get also back some of the requirements for to buy more keys so that's a really important thing to say and I think I covered everything you got the schedule you get the dredging store so you can see what, what what's costing what so I can buy one Tyler key here just fr from this run and of course, I wouldn't advise you to spend Genie's Gifts on this because I think you can get more money or AD just by selling Genie's Gifts instead of buying these. And that's about it. You just go on, go back to the town layer and you're good to go. Take some time and rinse and repeat. It doesn't take long. It's pretty good. And so you, you just, just so you know, if you, you can really prepare for this event, I don't have a lot of keys. I have only 89, but it will, I can get more in all honesty, but I'm just not patient enough to do this uh, so maybe it will help you guys to get more enchanting stone rank 5 you need you can sell them and or wait on wait on selling so the prices everybody's doing this now wait, wait for the price to go, go up and that's about it so thank you for watching and shout out to my channel members subscribe if you're not and i'll see you soon north side is out